Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Azure SQL Managed Instance. Well, Azure SQL Managed Instance is the intelligent scalable cloud database service that combines the SQL Server database engine comp compatibility with all the benefits of a fully managed and evergreen platform as a service. SQL Managed Instance has near 100% compatibility with the latest SQL Server which is the Enterprise Edition Database Engine providing a native virtual network implementation that addresses common security concerns which are favorable for existing SQL Server customers. SQL Server Managed Instance allows existing SQL Server customers to lift and shift their on-premise applications to the cloud with minimal application and database changes. And at the same time, SQL Managed Instance preserve all platform as a service capabilities like automatic patching and version updates, automated backups, high availability that would drastically reduce management overhead and the total cost of ownership. And it has some features, you know, that and the capabilities that are available both in Azure SQL database and the SQL Server database engine. I will show you guys how to create the SQL Server Manage instance, how to configure it. You know, you can have service aided subnet configuration, public endpoint, those stuff as well. I will will show how to restore the sample database as well. But I just wanted to cover an overview of theory of what SQL Managed Instance is. So do not think that I'll just read the documentation and uh, would end this video in the upcoming videos. Probably the in the tomorrow videos, I'll show you how to create one and the different corresponding things associated with it in the coming days. So it has past benefits. You don't want to purchase any hardware and management, no management overhead for managing underlying infrastructure and service scaling, automated patching and version upgrade is there. For security and compliance, it has an isolated environment through VNet integration. It's a single tenant service. It has a dedicated compute and storage. You can enable transport data encryption, Azure Active Directory authentication, single line sign-on support, Azure Ready Service principles, server principle logins, and uh, Windows authentication for Azure Ready principle is in preview. We can have SQL auditing, we can have advanced threat protection. Right? It has managed automated backups, it has a built-in instance and database monitoring and metrics. It has an automatic software patching, the latest database engine features. It's uh, through VNet I can, with VNet I can do Azure Resource Manager deployment as well. And it comes with the vCore based purchasing model, right? So what is a vCore based purchasing model for SQL management instance? It will give us the flexibility, control, transparency, and a straightforward way to translate the on-premise workload requirements to the cloud. This purchasing model would allow us to change compute, memory and storage based upon our workload needs. The vCore model is also eligible for up to 55% savings with the Azure hybrid benefit for SQL Server. In the vCore model, we can choose between generations of hardware. You have standard series, generation 5. We have premium series, which is uh, Logical CPUs are based on Intel 8, 8370C ICE Lake 2.8 GHz processors with 7 GB of RAM per CPU V core. We have then the premium series memory op optimized, which comes with the SSDs, hyper threaded logical core, and compute sizes between 4 and 64 cores. There are different service tiers available for it. We have a general purpose designed for applications with typical performance and IO latency requirement. Then we have business critical designed for applications with the low IO latency requirement and minimal impact of underlying maintenance operations on the workload. Both of these service tiers guarantee 99.99% availability and enable us to independently select storage size and compute capacity. And as you all are aware that the general purpose service tier, it's the for the business applications with typical performance requirements. Then you have business critical service tier, 
with the high IOPS requirements. And when it comes to advanced security and compliance, we can achieve security isolation from other tenants on the Azure platform uh, through native virtual network implementation. And in the default deployment, the SQL endpoint is exposed only through a private IP address. So these are some of the things that we will cover in the coming video. So in the next video, we will create a SQL managed instance through the Azure portal. And when I have, when I'll have one, I'll create the uh, videos explaining the different things around the SQL management instance. Okay, I hope you had a good idea of what SQL management instance is. In the next video, we will create one. Thank you. Have a good day ahead.